And look at these little dodos. Can you see what I'm wearing besides my microphone? Possibly not. So let me give you a clue what I'm talking about. If I hold that to the camera, I'm wearing a turtle enamel pin. And if you look over my shoulder, it might look rather familiar. And if I hold this one up, and you look over my other shoulder, again, that might look rather familiar. So I have two rather gorgeous enamel pins made from my paintings. And I can't tell you how exciting I find that. So in this film, I want to share with you how it went from painting to pin. But just before I do, I also want to show you this, which is a little sticker off vinyl sticker and also this sticker and there you go painting to sticker painting to pins how does that actually happen i have to say a huge thank you to gsjj who made these pins and made this all possible so the story starts with an email i got an email from gsjj saying would you like to cooperate with us and turn some of your paintings into promotional goods. And I was like, oh, not sure I do actually know, because I think of promotional goods as things like, oh, I don't know, baseball caps and plastic beakers with logos on and things. And I thought, oh, no, I don't want to do that. And also I had a quick look at their website and it was in America. And I said, no, no, I'm in the UK not interested and they came back to me and they said aha we have a website in the UK would that change your mind and I was like okay so I looked at pinbadges.co and they had all these wonderful enamel badges and I thought oh I like those so I said yes and that's where our story starts they then asked me to send some art to them and that they could turn into enamel badges. And I hit a problem because most of my work is in watercolour and therefore it relies on soft edges as well as hard edges. It can be very diffuse because that's the nature of watercolour. I thought, oh, I'm not sure any of those would actually turn into a badge. But then I thought of this series of paintings and these are done in a really fun technique called gouache wash off technique or ink resist and it gives you an image as you can see that looks a bit like a lino cut or a bit like a wood block print and I thought actually because those are very defined yeah they, those would work and I have to say the dodo here is one of my absolute favourite paintings I've ever painted I don't know why it's not sold mm. anyway and I've done series of paintings very recently of Australian animals because we've been to Australia and seen things like kangaroos, turtles, cassowary, pelicans, you know, so they were on my mind and I thought actually they would work really well as, as pin badges. I thought you'd like to see how the gouache wash off technique actually works. You paint in gouache then you coat the entire image with black Indian ink and then wash it off underwater to reveal the final picture. It's a very precise technique, but such a lot of fun because you have that surprise at the end. If you would like to find out more about it, then I have a full course over at lizchatterton.studio.co.uk and it's using a landscape as the subject. It really is so much fun. I sent off just a JPEG image and said, would this work? And they said, yes. So that was all well and good. I could have gone to the trouble of turning my artwork into a digital drawing and really simplifying it because I realised that something this tiny from something that big, you know, it needs simplification. But I thought I'd be a bit sneaky and see how good their designers were and what they would be willing to do. Because I thought that was more realistic. If you want to do something like this, 
you might not know how to do a digital drawing. It's more likely that you'll just be sending a JPEG. He came back to me, well, within probably only two days with a turtle design. And I was blown away, it was lovely. Uh, nothing I'd want to change with it at all. And I was like, wow, yeah, like that. So then we started working on the dodo and came back with a simplified design that was absolutely my do dodo, but just simplified. And I wasn't that happy with the colours. I thought they could have been stronger. So I suggested some changes and we went backwards and forwards. And at no point did they say, oh, stop being so jolly fussy, which was good. And we finalised the design, went into production and eventually, probably, I would say two to three weeks later, package arrived, too much excitement, and the pins were there. Excuse my hands, they arrived when I was in the middle of preparing oh, canvases. They are, oh wow, look at these. Oh, I can't, oh, forget opening them. Let's just cut everything. I am so excited. Look. This is a little metal pin made from my turtle painting. Oh, and look at these little dodos. I mean, how cute are those? Oh, amazing. I'm so happy. Right. I'll stop recording now. Possibly wash my hands. The stickers were a lot more straightforward. I did think, I'll just hold it up, about whether I wanted it cut to shape. So that it would just be the bird rather than square but actually I decided that I liked the background that I painted on on the paintings and I thought they would work very well as squares so I decided rather than having them cut to shape I would keep them as square. I just saw um, a proof said UPIA and and they went into production. So the question is, I'm sure on your mind, is how much does this cost if I want to do it? Well, let's go through their quote procedure and you can see what that would be. And also let's think about pricing if you decided that you wanted to sell something like these enamel pins on Etsy or at art fairs, things like that. Let's look at the website to start with, the GSJJ website. So the, this is an e-commerce platform that really acts as a go-between between between the customer in the US, the UK, Canada, wherever, and Chinese manufacturers, and they facilitate the whole process. They do a whole range of things, and they do have some manufacturing in the States as well. We're obviously interested in the enamel pins and they've got a great range there. They do have a video that explains the whole manufacturing process, which is really useful. And they also take you through the difference between soft enamel and hard enamel. So the soft enamel will have raised edges. The hard enamel is made with sort of glass paint to a more traditional process. And so it's more expensive. Then there is a design process if you want to use that. Okay, this is their quote um, tool. So first of all, you have to select what sort of pin you want. And we've gone for soft enamel. Then what sort of size and you use this ruler tool to select one and a half inches in this case. You can select the background. Some are included in the price. Some will cost extra, whether you want it with epoxy, what, how many colours you want, uh, whether you want glitter, mm, glittery dodos, how lovely, or not, and what sort of clutch you want on the back, how you want it presented, whether you want it on cards, everything is customisable. And once you're happy, you say how many you want. In this case, I'm going to put in 50 to give us an idea and how quickly you want them delivered. The quicker you want them, the more expensive it'll be. It does give you different currencies and then it summarises your order. I realised I put the wrong size in the previous one, so I redid the quote and it's now $194 
or one and a half inch sizes. It's really important to double check what you've actually put in um, so that you don't get any nasty surprises. Something to note is that there is a mould fee. You can see it just at the bottom of $75. If you reorder this, then you would not be charged that again, but that's a one-off fee, so don't forget it. Okay, let's just look at the Pin Badges website as well. So this is the UK website. You can see it has very similar look and feel and there's a really useful film all about their quality, how they've been doing this for 30 years, what the process is, what the quality control. And I did find that little film really interesting, how everything is handmade and customize the bit where the people are putting the color on is amazing they are so fast anyway the thing you're interested in of course is getting that quote so let's have a look at that process here it takes you through the creation process you basically send them your idea they send you a proof and then when you're all happy you get the final artwork well that's what I've shown you so far. Let's actually get that quote. Well, you can see why I was so excited about this website. They use a turtle as an example. So we're going to select the soft enamel pin badge. And here it shows you again the in close up detail, the soft enamel with the raised edges and the sunk enamel. And it's just good to see what it'll look like in reality. So you get an idea of the quality. If we select that soft enamel, it will take us through to the ordering site. So we wait for that little circle, takes us through to here, and we select soft enamel again. We select the size, and that was one and a half inches. Then we select the finish, in this case, black metal. It shows which are free, which cost more. The rainbow finish is rather fun, isn't it? but we can select that. And then from there, we select how many colors are in our design. So in this case, five colors or fewer, and we know that's free. We can have transparent colors. We can have rhinestones, glitter, glow in the dark, all sorts of fun. A few more things that didn't seem to be on the other website. Maybe they're there and I just haven't spotted them. We can select the backing, so what sort of clutch you want on it. In this case, it was just the rubber one, that's free. How we want it presented. And then I'm not going to upload artwork. You can say upload with email later if you don't want to put that in now and you just want to get a quote, so that's fine. Again, select the timing and the quantity. So I'm going to put in 50 so we can have a look at that and see how much this is all going to cost us. The timing, there is a discount, the slower it comes, the, the, the cheaper it is. So I'll put in for the 20% discount. So 50 are going to cost me £132.60. I'm intrigued what the 30-day discount would be. So if I click that, it will tell me the new price so that would be 124. You make a decision about how quickly you want things to turn up. It then does a little bit of an upsell, says, look, you can get 50 more badges for only a little bit of extra. And you can see how the price really comes down. The more you order, then the cheaper the unit price is. Remember, you've got the mould fee on top of this price. That is not what you're paying. You must allocate the, the mould charge across the number that you order. It will be cheaper if you order from the same design again. So there is a summary of your order. You can look at it, see whether you're happy to accept it, and then you would just proceed with that. The mould price is 63.75. Let's have a look at the sticker site. Be careful, there is a custom stickers.com website, which is a different company. So Select the size you want and the quantity you want, and very quickly it shows you the price. In this case, it's um, oh, I've got it in dollars, it's 76 cents each if you order 100. 
so you know that is incredibly straightforward you'll get a summary you can choose glossy matte whatever you want it tells you and again it's free delivery and you can choose timing you might be thinking well what am i going to charge for these and i would suggest doing a bit of research so i've put in dodo enamel pin i'm going to hit the shopping tab and see what else is out there and what people are charging i mean they're so it really seems to vary from well 14 15 pounds most expensive down to fiver um, that dodo pin badge on ebay 675 i think mine's far nicer than that so i would be thinking that if i charge between six and ten pounds for this that wouldn't be out of reach with the marketplace just research get a feel um mine isn't gold plated like the first one so i certainly wouldn't be charged 15 pounds so if you've done your market research and you know what other people are charging for similar items and you know what your costs are you can set your price i'd suggest as a rule of thumb that you should always charge at least double what you've paid so if you have paid three pounds charge at least six if you paid four dollars charge at least eight dollars don't forget to factor in selling fees if you're on etsy or commission if you're in a gallery so that you're not out of pocket hope that's been useful i hope maybe you're inspired to have some beautiful pins made out of your artwork and thank you once again to gsjj